Welcome back to the shop, guys. First off, I'd like to thank everybody for their encouragement. Whether it's been an email, uh, an IM, a text message, uh, a message on Facebook, or if you see me in person and said that you're doing a great job. I really want to say I really appreciate it. And um, we've had over 100 views on the first video, which I think is amazing. Um, I'd like to see uh, more likes, like right down there. Um, and there's a subscribe button somewhere over here, up here somewhere. Um, but do that, like and subscribe. That way I know that people are seeing it and they want to see more of it. Um, tonight I'm going to uh, put together one of my best selling pieces that I'm making right now, which is a dragonfly made out of uh, some uh, quarter inch rods, um, four knife blades, just uh, cut off from four cheap knives. These probably came from uh, probably came from the Goodwill or the Dollar General, or could have come from a flea market or uh, swap meet somewhere. I found them. Uh, same thing. We're gonna use uh, the ends of two forks, cut off. Um, got the main base of the dragonfly body here and these will be petals for the uh, stem of the flower that the dragonfly will be mounted to and uh, two ball bearings that uh, I bought at work and uh, those will be the eyes it's not going to be real in-depth it's not going to be play-by-play -play or DIY step one step two uh, probably be a lot of fast forward video but you'll be able to see the process and how I'm doing things. Um, let's see, I'm checking out my notes here. I have scribbled down. Uh, see, we covered that, covered that, um, that and that. Um, I was at Toy Pond in Rocky Mount over the weekend. Got to uh, hang out with a great bunch of folks down there and uh, saw one of the owners. And uh, we talked briefly about maybe uh, having a couple pieces um, down there at Koi Pond. So look for that this spring, uh, maybe more, uh, maybe an event this uh, spring. I'll let you know more details as, as that progresses. But um, this is my first video of actually making something. Let's see how it goes. Thanks. Always wear your safety goggles.
not even gonna lie, that was absolutely nerve-wracking. I have never tried to weld and film anything in my entire life and trying to make sure everything gets in a shot and um, everything is clear, uh, the sparks aren't flying towards the camera, um, that was, that was nerve-wracking. But hopefully through the magic of my basic editing skills, you won't see most of it. Um, that was, uh, that was interesting. Uh, I got some ideas on how to do better next time and show things a little bit better. Um, but I do not profess to be a welder. I am a grinder. I can tack weld things together. I can weld things together to make them strong. They're not going to be pretty. Well, the welds won't be pretty. What I make will be. Um, this is the way I do it. It may not be the best way to do it. Probably not. Um, I see other people using different welding machines and do a much better job than I do, but this is how I do it with the tools I have and I enjoy doing it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please, please comment. Um, don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe. Please leave me your comments. I need to know how I can improve things. Um, if anybody has any comments about my welds, um, keep them to yourself. <laughs> um, so I guess I need to wrap this up and uh, take all the video on the house and see if I can put something together in some kind of semblance of order. But uh, thanks again for uh, stopping by the shop, guys. Let's see how this turns out. Thanks.